Women around the world are marking International Women's Day. The South Korean capital and there, women marched calling for changes to gender inequality as they mark the day. In Germany, about 4,000 people mark the day at a rally in Berlin. It's a public holiday there in the German capital. In Manila, protesters clashed with police as nearly a thousand women marched, calling for an end to sexual harassment. In Indonesia, hundreds of people took to the streets in the capital, voicing their concerns over the state of democracy. And as we turn to five o'clock, we have more news ahead for you. Yes. Local 3 News at 5 starts now. More updates in the Catoosa County election case. A new order has been handed down against the Catoosa County Republican Party. A verdict has been reached in the Marvin Menifee trial. We'll have a live report from the courtroom. And in this week's restaurant report card, you'll see why a restaurant on Gun Barrel Road almost failed inspection. This is Local 3 News at 5. Thank you for choosing us for your local news, weather and sports. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Cindy Sexton. A jury has found a man guilty on two counts relating to the death of Alfred Pittman in 2021. Marvin Menifee was found guilty of criminally negligent homicide and especially aggravated robbery. Dallas Payton joins us live from court with more. Dallas. David, Cindy, now Marvin Menifee will be sentenced on June 3rd on the two counts he was found guilty on. Now Marvin Menifee was originally charged with first degree murder and especially aggravated robbery. They came after Menifee and a group of guys were accused of robbing and fatally shooting Alfred Pittman. The trial went on for four days before the jury was able to come up with that verdict. The first degree murder charge dropped in to a criminal negligence homicide charge and could mean a one to two year sentence and the especially aggravated robbery charge carries a 15 to 20 year sentence. The state, the state prosecutor was satisfied with the verdict knowing what kind of jail time came with a especially aggravated robbery. Uh, I'm happy with the verdict. Um, you, you know, you always want to get as charged, but as I'm sure every, anyone who's been paying attention to this case, this was a difficult case. It wasn't easy facts. Um, you didn't have an eyewitness to the actual murder other than Mr. Menifee talking about it. Um, it it's a good result. Now, Schofield says the Pittman family was upset with the initial verdict, but once he explained the sentence times, they were happy with the results. Now, he hopes the verdict that was uh, said today brings some closure to the Pittman family. Reporting live in Hamilton County for Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton. Thanks, Dallas. Catoosa County Republicans. Oh, well, let's see. Is this where we're going right now? I'm. We've had a bit of a problem here. Let's go to Senator. No, we're going to a candlelight vigil. Our apologies. Sometimes computers do funny things. Mm -hmm. A candlelight vigil will be held for two people killed in a murder suicide that took place last week. The two victims, Lillian and Jessica, were killed in their home. Police say Christian Gill is the man responsible and he turned the gun on himself. The vigil will be held at Barger Academy tonight at 630. They ask you to take a candle or flashlight to shine in their memory. Ahead of the State of the Union address last night, Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee talked about a new bill promoting online safety for children. She says this will give parents the toolbox they need to keep their kids safe online. The social media platforms will have to do safety by design and have a duty of care and open their algorithms and give parents and kids a toolbox to protect themselves when kids are online. The senator says she's heard from many parents supporting this bill. 